What you guys got another video here for you on how to troubleshoot and fix the start menu in Windows 10. Now, whether you've just updated your version of Windows 10 and now the start menu is not working, when you click on it, nothing happens, or it's freezing, or you've got some sort of problem with it, then this video is for you. What you need to do here is go down to the bottom of the taskbar and click on task menu. In here, we're going to click file and then run new task. Inside this little open box, we're going to put in here CMD and we're going to run this as administrator privileges. The reason why we're doing it this way is because your start menu is not working and you might not be able to type that in your search box. So from here, the first thing you're going to do is SFC space forward slash scan now and run this on the system. This does take a bit of time. Be patient. But once that is completed, it will probably find some corrupted files and you should see something looking like this, which is Windows resource protection found corrupted files and successfully repaired them. Hopefully that has repaired your issue and your problem should be resolved. If not, we're going to continue with the fix process and try to fix uh, this uh, problem that you might have. Now you might also want to put in this command here, this is going to check the health of the image. So do dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup and then dash image and then space forward slash check health. And what that's going to do is check the health of the image. And hopefully ours is no component store corruption detected, which is good. Now, if you do get a corruption there, you can then run the restore health command, which I'll show you here. I'm not going to run it because I've got no component uh, store corruption here, but you would run something like this, dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health, and then run that and it will uh, restore the image. Once you've done this, you can also run SFC scan now again after that to make sure the problems have been resolved and you've got no issues. I'll show you another way to open up PowerShell here. Go to C root directory, Windows, and then go into System32 and then look for the Windows PowerShell folder. Inside here, you'll see the PowerShell executable and you can run it from here. So you don't have to go into run new task. You can do it from here. Right click and run this as administrator. And this will open up the PowerShell if you're having trouble opening up from the start menu still. You can check the version by putting in this command. It will check the version of Windows, what you're running, Windows 10, and it will tell you the build and version. Or you can type WinVer inside the search box here. This will let you know what version of Windows that you're running. So it gives you an idea of when you're researching or online, you can generally get an idea of what build you're running for Windows 10 because there's 10 generations of Windows 10, which means that you could have any type of version and there might be known issues for that particular version. Now also, you can check the status here by putting this command in and this will tell you what the status is for the Windows Shell uh, experience host. And you can see here that tells you the status is OK. But yours will say something different if there's a problem. Now, you can also check Cortana as well by putting in a command. I'll show you what the command is for that. And basically, you run that, and it will tell you what the status is for that. And it just lets you know roughly whether there's an issue going on with that particular uh, shell. So just run that command there and push Enter, and it will tell you that. Now, next up, we're going to reset uh, the start menu we're going to re-register all of the files here and by putting this command in i'll leave that in the video description for you and basically run that and it will reinstall and re-register the start menu now another thing we're going to do here is check for windows updates now if you're running an older version then you may want to check for updates and see if there's a fix for that particular problem maybe there was a problem with that with a previous version that you're running and you're still having issues Check for Windows updates and sometimes that can resolve uh, the problem and let them updates come down, especially if there's fixes available for that particular issue and they've now resolved those by an update. You want to check for updates to make sure that that has fixed the problem. Next up, what we're going to do here 
is go to the start button and settings and from here if you're still having issues you may want to create a new account so you might want to create a new user account and uh, go from there and see if that resolves the problem so go into here go into family and other users and then add someone else to this pc click on there and you'll get this box popping up asking you to create a microsoft account so the, the person doesn't have uh, the personal signing information just click on there and then basically you can add another user without um, a microsoft account by clicking on this link here so you don't have to create one and then put in your username what you want to use and put in your password that you want to use for that new account and then once you've done that you can click on next and uh, that will then create the account so next you want to click on this part here and then change the account type and if you want to change the account type from standard user to administrator you can do by clicking on this here very simple and easy to do and then click OK and then what you need to do is log into that account and it will build that profile for you and you can then uh, use that account and hopefully that has resolved all of your problems if you're still having issues after that then you may need to do a repair install or a fresh install of Windows 10 to resolve your issues my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out, guys. Have a great day and a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Got a PC build video coming up this weekend, so stay tuned for that one. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.